everybody, welcome back to Craft with Norma. Today I'm going to show you my, and I'm going to call it a flip-flop concertina book that I've gone and made using some waste. Now I've done a commission on um, a tag book concertina and this is the waste cut, uh, craft card that I had left. I had loads of it, so I thought I'd try and make something out of it. Uh, and then I came across uh, a tin which when we was on our retreat um, I actually sprayed black and all I've gone and done is just covered the inside of the lid, the lid itself and the inside of the tin with some nice papers that I found uh, in my stash and uh, then I've just wrapped them up in ribbon so you can get them in and out of the, the tin um, easier and a little notebook just to go inside it as well uh, so I'll just put that on one side Oh, excuse me. Then I've gone and made what I, as I say, is called my flip-flop, um, or, yeah, flip-over concertina book. And I've just utilised um, four pieces of the craft card and some of them that I've cut down. So the reason I've called it the flip-flop, because when you open it out, like so, uh, I've got these bits that will actually flip across. So with this one, it flips that way. So you can see there we've got something on that side. Uh, and we've got a young man there, one of the Tim Holtz uh, mini dolls. Uh, I'm going to call him Michael because I've put an M there. Uh, and then this one is Time Flies and I've gone and used some of the Tim Holtz um, insect bugs. Uh, and I've just put some wings on there and then a, a lovely beetle just there and then that flips over and again using one of Tim Holt's dies this one is actually made by uh, Tanya that she sent me uh, in the post as some happy mail so thank you Tanya I've gone and utilised it there and then that turns over there and on this side of the flip we've got uh, a pen and then here I've gone and utilised one of the butterflies and I've just used half a wing and I've just used that to have as a tuck spot for that uh, little card to slot into um, just there and then on this side um, I've again used one of the Tim Holtz insect bug stamps and that flips over there and we've got a young lady there and this is a bookmark that just slots into there I must admit, I was running out of ideas because it's such a narrow piece of card to utilise. And then if we turn it over, so here we've got it turned over. Uh, this is the other side of the flippy bit, and I've just put a little booklet there just to open out with um, another Tim Holtz minifigure that slots into there. And another bookmark that slides in there, and that's got um, a little tag that moves this little tag there that moves, uh, a little frame that I've gone and made and uh, here at the very end another one of the sort of like bookmark tags that um, I've made just out of the card and that just slots into there and here's the front of the book so if you bend it all back up again making sure that you've got everything, all the flippies in the right place it all sort of interlinks. So that's the book that I've gone and made. So to make it, it is quite simple, um, to be honest, like everything if you know what you're doing. So I'm going to have a go at trying to show you what I've gone and done. So first off, I've gone and got some of my card. And all I've gone and done here is just use some masking tape, uh, or you can use any tape that uh, you want to actually get the... Um, the card together. Now when you put it down what you don't want to do, which you're tempted to do, is to put them too close together. You need to have just a little tiny gap like so, so that when it comes across, just turn that round, when it comes across like that, where's my scissors? Let's cut that off there and you can run your thumbnail down. It can fold quite easily so you've got no restraint, you've got no where it wants to stay open. It, it closes quite neat. Okay, so that's what you do first. 
So I've got those there and I've got those two there. So what I'm going to do next is just run that down. So I've done that one just to save time. So it's just like that. That goes on there like so. That one just goes on there again, like I said, just with that little tiny space. That flips over. Now there's all sorts of different tapes that you can use and it's entirely up to you which tapes that you would rather use to do this with. Uh, and for this, for ease, easy um, access, it's just masking tape. Now I have used the sticky tape that boxers use to wrap around their hand before they pop the bo their boxing gloves on. That's really good if you're going to do a more heavier card than just the simple craft card. So there we've got our base for our concertina book. So you can use any size card. I've only used this because of uh, it's what I've got as waste and I just want to utilise my waste. So the next thing is we've got some of the card that's left over and I'm going to just cut this down and I'm going to use three pieces. So we're just going to cut it down like so and like so. I'm not very good at cutting straight if I'm honest. So next what we're going to do is on this piece here so we want it so you've got this opening here so you've got the fold facing left and the opening facing right and we're going to put a piece of card inside there and we want about an inch gap like so and then what I'm going to do is make sure it's straight and I'm going to put a slight crease along there so you've got it that looks like that. Then what we're going to do is just flip that over. Open up the page like so and then put another piece of masking tape across the back there like so. I hope you can see that okay. There we go. So that's our first flappy bit, okay? So that's on the first bend that's open. The next one we're going to want to do is on this one here. Now this one here is now the bend, okay? So this is where it opens out like so. So on here we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to get our piece of card we're going to slot it in. Now it doesn't matter where you put that, if you want to have them all in the same place or you want them slightly to the top or the bottom, it's entirely up to you. But again we want about an inch, try and do it as if you can, as straight as you can. Uh, now if you've got one of the glass mats that's got the lines, that's ideal because with that you can actually make sure that everything is in line. I'm doing this by eye. Okay, so again, we've put a piece of masking tape there. We run our hands across there. That flips over and we move it across. And then with this piece of masking tape, we're going to do the same again. We're going to layer that down. Okay. And that flip there. So again, you've got the two pieces there. I don't mind that little bit uh, of extra. Um, as I say, you've got the flexibility there to do it uh, however you, you want. And then the next one you're going to turn that over and you've just got the single one open to your right hand side. You're going to do exactly the same. You're going to get your piece of cut card and again you're going to roughly measure it about an inch. Now obviously if you want to make them so they're more um, sticky out, more prominent um, in certain areas it's entirely up to you, you can sort of play around. This is just to give you a guidance of what you could possibly do. So again, I'm going to try and do it by eye. Piece of masking tape down, like so. Flip it over, turn that over there, 
like so, and put the piece of masking tape down. Oops, there we go. And that flips there like that. So you've got your book, like so, that opens out, that can flip, that opens out, that one can flip, this opens out, and that one can flip. And that's your base of your book. Quite simple, quite straightforward. Now, because I've used card, what I've gone and done is I've gone and got some uh, black gesso. And I like to have my work, as you can see here, I like to have, have it edged. I quite like the grungy look. Um, so I've just gone over it, all over it, with the black gesso. You can use gesso or you can actually use um, black acrylic paint. You don't have to, you could just leave it as it is, but I just wanted to hide where the tapes are because if you don't do that, you can, when you put your paper down, you'll be able to see um, the masking tape, unless you, of course you use black tape. And that's it. Quite simple, quite straightforward, but I just think it's just a little bit different to um, the other Constantina books that I've seen. So please have a go. Um, uh, any questions, do ask. And if you've not subscribed, please do. We'd love to have you um, on board. And those who have, hi again. It's nice to see you again. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button. And you can find me on Etsy and Instagram. Uh, the book and the tin will be uh, going on my uh, Etsy shop, Crafted by Norma. Okay, all the details will be below. See you soon. Bye.